I came here to the capital of Bangladesh to learn about how climate change is affecting Bangladeshi life. But first, I have to learn how to cross a Bangladeshi street. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Michael. Welcome to Dhaka. Thank you. Thank you. Are you ready for Shadogat? I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh, let's go. Okay. It used to be a city of garden. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, beautifully all roads and everything planned. But then it just grew out of, without any planning. Tasneem Sadiqi, an expert on Bangladeshi migration, tells me Dhaka is the world's fastest growing megacity. And climate-induced migration is expected to contribute to the near doubling of its population by 2025. In fact, it turns out our rickshaw driver is a migrant himself. He has a daughter, mm -hmm. wife, father and mother. And he and sends money home to them? Yeah, he sends money. And that's how his family survives. He came here two years ago. Because of river erosion, they have lost certain land. He used to be a farmer, but salt water from rising sea levels contaminated his land, ruining his crops. Right. The rest of the land, other family members cultivate, and he sends money. So it's a combined income that keeps the family going and he dreams to go back. That's what he said, that he wants to, when he's, you know, the financial need is taken care of, he wants to go back. Right. So the, so the goal is not to remain in the city and no. bring everyone here, it's to return. Their dream is to return. Yes. But the rising seas continue to destroy homes, pollute groundwater, and threaten the lives of one in every seven Bangladeshis. A more likely outcome for a migrant like our rickshaw driver would be for his family to join him here in the city. Unfortunately, it seems the streets of Dhaka aren't going to become any less treacherous anytime soon.